Hey, good day, everybody. This is Dennis Wilborn with the Active Trend Traders. Uh, thanks for joining me for this free recording of one of our webinars we do through the week. Uh, you're either watching, this will be either a recording of the art and science of active trend trading or uh, how to make money trading stocks, options, and ETFs. Um, please watch the video through to the end. There's a special offer at the end that uh, uh, we would like to encourage you to become a premium active trend trading members. And uh, the offer at the end is a very deeply discounted uh, membership. Um, please take advantage of this because prices are going up uh, at the beginning of the year. Um, the other thing you can do for me, if you like the content, if you are trading along with us and getting some of the free trade setups we're doing and finding success and profitability in those, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and, um, and, uh, or reach out and contact me and love to chat about stocks. So, hey, sit tight. The video is coming up next. Aloha. God bless everybody. Okay, good afternoon, everybody. This is Dennis Webber with the Active Trend Traders. Welcome to um, Making Money, Trading Stocks, Options, and ETFs. Um, I do this webinar every um, Friday at 11 o'clock Pacific time. And um, so the uh, now I have the numbers on. There we go. Uh, so I do this Monday, uh, this every uh, Friday at about 11 o'clock Pacific time. And what we do is we just basically cover a uh, uh, what's going on in the market, what we're looking at for going on into next week. And um, the uh, um, remember that all the materials we do uh, present are for training purposes only. Traders should always pay for trade any new method prior to the risk of their own uh, personal uh, prior to the risk of their own personal capital. Past performance is not an indication of and or promise of future performance. A little bit about me, Brandon Matthew, just Brandon, my son, just joined us uh, here recently uh, with, the, uh, uh, with the Active Trend Traders. He used to work with me uh, back around 2005 uh, when we first started putting the, uh, uh, the strategies together for um, for the uh, uh, active trend trading. Uh, and so he has been at this, he's a really great little technical analysis. And the thing that he brings to the table that is really good is what he brings to the table is he brings um, the aspect of IT and project management. Or, there we go. Now, it does say that we're live on, on Facebook, and I'll just have to take uh, what Michelle says about it once we're done. It is really lagging big time. So I don't know if you guys, any of you guys have any uh, experience in streaming live video uh, on any suggestions. Please let me know. I know a lot of you IT and tech guys that are out there. So let's move along here. is uh, remember that discipline is the key that turns knowledge into wisdom. That's one thing that I, I, I firmly believe in is oftentimes we spend all our time in trading and we spend our time trying to, to kind of uh, educate ourselves, find the, the holy grail of trading. And in reality, it's right there within us. And so we can continue to do this. Our objective from this session today is to, um, our objective is to, one, do a timely actual intel review at the end of each week, market review, what's the next tradable bounce and when are we expecting that. We're getting a nice little rebound today. I'll kind of cover that. One of the things, if you come to these uh, uh, Friday free webinars, uh, I will be providing bonus trades as long as you're registered as a you know, uh, free content member of Active Trend Trading. Uh, I will be off providing bonus trade setups for LABU and LABD. Uh, I just want to be able to share with you how and what the uh, um, these you know how and how these two entities can really change your trading uh, going forward with some you know because they, they move so nicely throughout the year. Here's where we're sitting as of 
uh, about nine o'clock this morning. Basically, the active trend trade is up about 34% for the year so far. My target is always 40% for the year. And so that's where we're, we're tracking right now. I'm trying to focus through the last six weeks of the year on strategies one and strategy twos. Um, we we're, uh, have some positions that we're trying to open up with those right now. Uh, and as you can see, all the indexes are up with the exception of the Russell. The Russell's been the lagger for the year, uh, primarily due to um, one, the interest rates that have been continuing to rise. However, there is opportunities within the, um, uh, within the, uh, um, there are opportunities for the Russell to jump on and they tend to be, they run more within the uh, uh, area that uh, compared to the other indexes. So here's where we're sitting with regards to the other strategies, strategy three, two, and one. Um, again, I'm gonna be focused through the end of the year on strategy one and two. Strategy two, yeah, it says we made 62% on it so far year to date, but this is only a $10,000 uh, uh, part of the account. Uh, the line share of the, of, of the uh, capital is divided between strat one and strat three. And as you can see, uh, average for the year going back to 2012 has been averaging about 30%. We're up 34% so far this year. Here's what we've done so far this week. I've got orders out on LABU. Um, I will be sending out that uh, order to everybody uh, who is a, you know, a non-premium member, which includes the Bay Area Money Makers and people who join me on this free webinar on, on Friday. I'll be sending out uh, the alerts on LABU to you via uh, uh, emails. That'll go out by the end of business today. Of course, the premium members have already received theirs. They received a text uh, alert saying, hey, we're getting into this. Uh, here's our, our, our uh, setup for the order. And so they're already, uh, they've got their order sitting there waiting just in case and get backs gets filled. Um, strat three for the week. The only thing is we got uh, knocked out of a position on um, uh, Tesla, lost about $650. Um, and so that, or $560, excuse me. And that was, um, um, you know, well within their max loss. The max loss on, on that is up in the, you know, about $1,500 level. So whenever we can, uh, we've really trimmed our, our, our catastrophic losses on our strategy three. And then we're gonna be continuing to work. If, if you're looking for a, a strategy that generates both a weekly income and a longer term capital growth, strategy three is a great way to go. Um, so uh, BAM meetings, BAM meetings, December 1st, we'll do a webinar setting up for 2019, big moves and big profits, what we're anticipating and expecting. At our last meeting, I opened, did an open house and I gave away over $700 worth of gifts uh, to people who attended there. Uh, one person got a six month uh, membership of the, the market action points, the new uh, service that's replacing the early warning alerts. And so, if you would like to learn more about this and or just get on, uh, we are setting up a, a, a messenger link at, uh, on facebook.com, Active Trend Trading, or if you have a messenger account, there's gonna be a link on our website pretty soon that will allow you to get alerts via messenger, uh, via, via, uh, uh, via messenger. So just, uh, um, um, that will be something that'll get the alerts to you quicker and faster. So I'm really looking forward to that happening. Uh, premium training every Wednesday for premium members, uh, technical training uh, weekly uh, and more. And, and here's some of the other things we're uh, working on. We're in the process of, we are converting uh, market, uh, converting over to market action points from early warning alerts. And so far we've done really well with those. One thing I want to call to your attention is that basically, the markets and individual stocks and ETFs we're trading are actively, are always actively trending. They're either going up, they're going sideways, or they're going down. Learning how to anticipate these moves and or to place our, 
uh, or orders at the right place. So there's just the order is sitting there waiting for the uh, for the uh, 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 the trade to come to it. Is what we're doing with active trend trading. Here's an example. Now, of course, this is LABU. This is one of the the okay. Our our uh, active our premium members are trading both LABU and LABD and doing you know and doing well with it. The, and what this does is basically, I'm going to be sending out alerts. If you want the timely alerts, of course, you need to become a premium member of Active Trend Trading. But look what this thing has done over uh, the last couple of years, and it continues to do so. Um, and I have seven other ETFs that, you know, basically put on the same type of demonstrated moves. I call them the Magnificent Seven ETFs, five runs in two years averaging 76%. Now, I'm not saying we're going to capture every bit of these moves, but just think about it. If we can just capture half of the move that's in there, that's going to be a pretty nice return going into, you know, uh, uh, each year, but it takes patience to sit there and wait for it. So that's what we're working on. And then add to that market action points. Uh, it's coming this November, hopefully, you know, either right at Thanksgiving or the week after Thanksgiving, uh, this is a replacement for the early warning alerts. The early warning alerts, people have already gotten their uh, 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 opportunity to join as a charter member, and then you will too go in, you know, into the end of November, into the first part of December. Hey, let's, before we move on, let's take a look at a couple of charts of what we're looking at in the markets. Well, here is uh, weekly on the left side, let me get my, yeah, let me get my, uh, let me get my pointer. Okay, there we go. Now you can see this. Weekly on the left side, daily on the right side. What we had was uh, a, you know, move down, move back up, thrust down, Reaction move up to slightly above the moving average, and then now a pullback. What I would like to see happen is I would like to see this low right here, and there's a low similar to this on every one of the other ET, uh, on all, every one of the other um, um, uh, ET, uh, index ETS. If that low stays in, you know, is not violated or rejected it means we have a higher low in place. That is the first key to a longer term uptrend. So that's a very positive. Early warning or the market action point and early warning alerts, people did receive an alert on an entry into uh, TNA based on uh, our, our price action from a couple of days ago. And so we'll see how that goes. As we see over here, positive, very positive, TSI turning back up, we, had, we didn't have a three-line cluster, but we have a two-line cluster. So you get the longer-term momentum on a weekly chart also starting to turn back up. That's very positive. And then over here, TSI is really trying the daily chart to reverse and move back up. Let's take a look at our other buddies here, uh, which would be IWM. All right, first, let's take a look at QQQ. Okay, let's get rid of some of this stuff here. Uh, remove. Okay, as we see, similar type situation. Now, as we see on a daily chart, look what's happening here. That eight day moving average is really acting as a strong level of resistance. Therefore, holding back our advance. We get a break above that eight day moving average could very well take us at least back up to 170 or go, you know, move all the way up to the 34 or 50, hammer that again. And those, those repeating hammering, like a jackhammer, repeating hammering of the moving averages from the bottom side in this case, will eventually get them to turn back up and reverse, therefore providing us some more uptrend. Again, what we're looking at here, possible, Higher low, 
we take out and move back above the eight day, that's going to give me a lot more confidence that, okay, we're into a good, solid uh, trending trade. Okay, uh, IWM, IWM. Again, similar type situation. Uh, I, anytime you get a big, large candle, like we had a green piercing line yesterday on IWM, and what happened? It held the middle of, of, of you know, basically held at the middle or the belt. So this would be considered, uh, those of you familiar with belt holds from uh, the candlesticks, this would be considered a, you know, kind of like a belt hold where we've held it. Now, Again, like the like the uh, uh, the Nasdaq, will we pierce and crunch through the eight-day moving average? Crunch through the twenty-day moving average. Last time we got this move, crunched all the way back up into that area there. If we throw on a Fibonacci, let's give a, give you an idea of how far could we potentially go uh, to the upside, and we'll just measure this thrust up to there. Pull it back to this thrust down, and here's your extensions. A 100% extension of this move. In other words, the that the 100 percent move would be equal to this move over here. Let me get my. Let me get my. So uh, the 100 percent move up here would be equal to this move here. If this is the low, 100 percent move takes us back up to 161.45 approximately. Um, 161.45, let's see what kind of, let me get rid of that drawing, 161.45, which is 161.45, which is just slightly above, whenever you do something like that with a fib, always check, is it going to be running into moving averages? Yes, it is. It would take us back up to are slightly above the eight, the uh, 200 and 100. So that is excellent information to know. What else do we know about that? That would be slightly above the Keltner channel. And so, uh, you know, if you're in a trade or moving into a trade on, uh, on one of these, based on this action, you know, the upper side of the Keltner channel, always a good profit target if you're having challenges finding out what your profit target is. And the last thing I'll leave you with today, folks, is LABU. I'm liking LABU, but as you can see, LABU is going through kind of a similar type situation as the indexes themselves, uh, in that we've come down, we made a new low. However, how does that compare to the IBB? You see, IBB had a double bottom, double bottom. But because the uh, 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 LABU is the uh, uh, is an ETF, a three time leverage ETF, what we're seeing with it is a little bit of the uh, of it pulling down a little bit lower. That's the contango factor or the backwardation. Now it's moving back up, hitting up against the eight day moving average, and failing. Didn't quite, we did put out a trigger on this this morning to pick it up at about uh, 42.77. Didn't quite pull back quite enough, but it did pull into the middle third. And so uh, uh, for premium members, I'm going to be showing you how to trade this using the, the one hour and, and three hour chart. But again, I'm looking for, I don't want to buy LEBU right up against the eight day moving average. Now, if it breaks out above it, that would be a buy. I want to be buying it kind of in the midsection there, about, uh, let's say, as I said, one, uh, 42.77, 42.50, all the way up to about 40, let's say $45. Uh, dollars. That would be a window to potentially buy this stop loss, 50 cents below, 50 cents or 25 cents below that low, 38.50. So I hope you like that trade. And if you like that trade and you want more of those kind of trades, become a premium member. That's all, <laughs> that's all I can say. So last with that, with, but not least, uh, folks, thanks for hanging with me. Uh, if you did join us on Facebook, I'll have to take a look uh, later because it has not, it has lagged me all uh, morning long. So if the live on Facebook isn't going to work, isn't going to give you a quality product, 
I won't do that because I'm not going to put out stuff that's not a good quality product. So lastly, we're into November. All of the indexes tend to make a bounce in November going into December. And uh, I'm going to be providing a last chance opportunity uh, until we get out the new pricing, which is expected in this uh, December timeframe. If you want to become a premium member, there, you know, uh, jump in, say 40% right now, go to this web, go to the website here, type in bonus to get your access because it is locked down where you cannot get into it. But I'm 40% off to $74.99. These are going to be going up. Again, I, it's going to be either just right at, you know, right before Christmas or right after Christmas. But uh, the current prices are not going to last uh, much longer. And one thing, once you get in at a price of active trend traders, I make a commitment to my members. I never raise your base rate. In other words, if you get in at $44.99, it never changes as long as you stay active. Um, and it gives you the training, gives you a whole, you know, a whole lot of the, the text alerts, the email alerts, and, uh, 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 and a good com camaraderie with other folks who trade. So, hey, looking forward to 2019 as a year of completion. Keep growing the egg, trade wisely, trade profitably. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Twitter here. And if you are a premium member, we'll be doing the final hour here at the top of at 12 o'clock Pacific. So until next week, have a great weekend. Uh, aloha, trade well and prosper. And have a great Thanksgiving as we move into uh, uh, the holiday seasons here. So, okay, guys, have a great one. Um, let's see, was there any more questions? Okay, hey, David. Okay, I bid you adieu, good day, and aloha, God bless everybody.